Virgo, this is going to be your monthly reading for February. We're going to see how your February is going to go. All right. Virgo for February. I'm going to pull three cards and one for advice. So how is February going to be looking for Virgo? Hmm. Interested to see. Got the Seven of Swords. So this could be you moving, literally, or it could be Deception Tower. Okay, Virgo. February with the bang, huh? Knight of Cups at the end here. And we've got the Chariot. So we got two sevens. So this indicates movement. Um, I know this, I mean, this could be Deception. Maybe if you're dealing with some Deception um, at the beginning of the month, you'll have to really say. But this also with the Chariot, um, that's the Seven Energy. So I feel like we're moving here. Um, Either physically, <laughs> my baby just ran by. Um, we're either, they can't see you. You don't need to be in my video. <laughs> you already in there, they seen you. Um, he's trying to wave. Uh, so we have the chariot here. So this is movement, right? So um, I feel like you guys either are physically moving. I mean, this indicates to me physically moving things. Um, so, so this indicates um, this indicates actually moving things. That's how I feel. Um, conflict is pretty much the overall energy. So this could be due to a conflict of some sort that you are moving away from somebody, or this could be conflict over deception. But there's a tower card in the middle of the month. So even though you're moving away, or you still discover some um, discover some deception towards the middle of the month, that's where the real the, really the tower comes. Um, but we have the Knight of Cups coming in at the end of the month. So somebody may be coming in to offer love. Could be a Leo, uh, Virgo that you might be dealing with. Let's see here. We got the World card. So conflict brings about an end for sure. So we have the conflict bringing about the end here. We've got the Queen of Swords. Uh, this could be you guys, um, with the, uh, Nine of Swords. So... I feel that I feel like this new end definitely causes some sleepless nights. Um, this is gonna, this might be something big. Um, it has you guys stepping into Queen of Swords energy. Um, we got the Queen of Pentacles here, and we got the Emperor. So, hmm, Ten of Cups here. Somebody may be leaving a family situation. Um. Or maybe even after some deception, they're still um, you're still with this person for a little while, not moving on because we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor, which are both like stable positions. Um, but I have the Ten of Cups here with the Eight of Wands, so I feel like somebody may be leaving a family situation. We've got the Queen of Cups here. Yeah, some self-care coming towards the end of the month here after this tower hits. So I think you guys may not even see this coming, but this might have you leaving a family situation. Um... But there's a lot of self-care at the end of the month. We've got the Queen of Cups with the Four of Swords. So going within to take care of self has you feeling kind of emo, you know. Um, this is emo guy. You guys know by now I always call this guy emo guy. So you're whatever happened in the past, um, but there's hope, you know what I'm saying. And there should be because you guys have the Ace of Cups coming in next. And that's where this Knight of Cups is coming in at the end. And this may be another person you don't see coming or somebody who, who's been here um, and helping you through this self-healing energy. Um, so we've got the Six of Swords moving on with the Two of Wands, okay? And this is because of a heartbreak, um, and you're going to need temperance for that. I mean, definitely. But I see you guys are going to be moving on here, moving away, um, either to a soulmate connection to a Gemini, um, or it could be another air sign. But you guys don't don't jump into things just because your heart is broken. The temperance card is here, so you know there could be an offer of love, but I think you need to, um, you know, yeah. There's a final decision being made here. There's definitely a final decision being made to walk away from something. Um, but there is there is new love coming in, but I don't think you guys are going to embrace this new love right away. Um, and I feel like there's new love coming in kind of fast because there's a Knight of Wands here with the Lover's card. So this new person is kind of coming in fast. Um, and let's keep this all the way 102, guys, because what I'm seeing here in the cards is 
this person could come in offering love like really fast coming in offering love um but with the judgment card and the eight of cups some of you guys could still walk away from that some of you guys cannot even would could what could could be at the point where you're not even accepting that because i see sagittarius here strongly um there's two sagittarius cards right next to each other temperance and the knight of wands so it could be a sag coming in to offer love and you guys shut him down as well or shut her down as well um heart is still broken still needing healing still healing from a heartbreak situation this tower card is going to rock you guys for a little bit definitely um there's going to be somebody coming in and offering love but i feel like you guys may even walk away from this person but you're definitely going to be taming yourself okay this could be an air sign coming in i see here um but you guys are not no you guys are just at a period of pretty much um i feel like you're pretty much in the high priestess energy here um i mean there may be a wish for love here um this could be an aquarius in here there could be a wish for love but i'm feeling like um it's in the, it's in the future you're not really you're you're looking for balance you're looking for balance oh and there she is you guys are yeah look what's coming next you guys are closed off even though with the wish here and you guys are cool with love like you're you want it but you're closed off to this to this new connection that's coming in at the end of the month you guys are closed off to it because, you know, there may be somebody from the past coming in telling you things here. Um, a soulmate energy or something like that coming in. Um, or something, because um, this is a truth. This is somebody speaking something. So somebody from the past may be coming in and you're still blocking them out. This may be the person coming in offering love. The Sagittarius or whoever's coming in fast here to offer love. They may be from the past too, which is why you're blocking them out. Um, but, I mean, I do see stability in your future. Okay. This is stability, possibly with the water sign, okay? So there's stability coming, all right? There's an offer of stability coming. Somebody's slowly coming in to offer, um, or you're slowly accepting an offer from a water sign or somebody who embodies a king of cups energy, okay? But you guys are defensive against this new beginning in this offer here. Um, you may feel like it's coming in too fast, so you're like, look, I need to slow this down. Um, that could be for some of you out there. But the Wheel of Fortune, and you got the Ace of Pentacles here, and then you got another stability card, okay? So there's good things coming in, guys. Um, just be careful for anybody that's coming in too fast. Um, I do think that it's right for you to take time to uh, tame yourself and use temperance in this situation. It could be a fire sign coming in or a Gemini um, or a water sign I'm seeing here. So, yeah, Virgo, that is going to be your monthly for February so far. Um, I hate to say you guys are focused on love, but... Um, I didn't really see a lot of money in here. I see a lot of, uh, I see a family separation or family situations going on here for sure. Um, it's with Virgo. And this could be about your stability too. Um, that could be a thing too about your money as well. So uh, we'll keep it uh, tuned in on in February. We'll do a couple readings. Um, you guys usually show me love, so I'll definitely be showing you guys love back and reading for Virgo throughout the month. So look out for those guys. If you need a uh, personal reading, everything is in the comments. I mean, in the description. Comment though if you do resonate with this. Like it, subscribe, and share. Um, and also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, my cash app and PayPal is in the description. Just let me know it's a, uh, a donation, okay? So, see you guys.